All right, so I bought this bucket truck for actually about the same amount of money the sign companies wanted to come take these four panels out and replace them with our train logo and, and our uh, company name and all on them. So we've got one broken panel here and three good ones. So we're going to use this bucket truck for a few months, get everything fixed here, get the back buildings painted, um, roof coating that goes on that back metal one back there. All this sign work, take the other signs down, and uh, then I can probably sell the truck for as much as more than I paid for it. So let's get up there and take a look at the signs and see if we can teach ourselves what those guys are doing to take those panels in and out. You know, I see them flopping in the wind up there now. So, you know, rattling inside the frame. So it looks like there may be some uh, improvement to be done on that. But let's get up in the bucket and see what we can discover. All right, so I've never been in a bucket before. This is a two-man bucket, pretty nice. There's the controls. And I watched a couple videos on YouTube. So, so as Burt Reynolds said in Smokey and the Bandit when he climbed on the forklift, he said, I can drive any forking thing around. So let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, here we go. That's the top boom. Let's get over here and figure out how to turn it and everything else. So maybe I better use both hands. All right, you sure can see everything from up here. So looks like a 5 16th drill, and I'll get that end cap off. Somebody's been working on them already. So let's go grab our drill and see if we can slide them out and see how heavy they are. And, uh, those panels look pretty rough once I get up close to them. We may just get new ones, but we'll go ahead and get those out anyway. It's quite a ride. This thing goes up, I think, 55 feet. So uh, it's a two-man bucket. But it'll definitely get the sign work done and take care of all these lights and stuff that we've got. Might need to clean this thing up a little bit. Maybe have a mechanic look at it, but we got a good deal on it, so I think we'll use it. Yeah, it looks easy enough. Looks like uh, this top panel is all one piece, so these end caps here come off and I guess the I guess you slide the panel out looks like it might be it might get kind of heavy to uh, slide it out long ways but watch a couple more YouTube videos and see what the sign guys do and go from there little fork down there above the above the hood there it's not really a big deal it takes a minute to get used to it
sensitive on the control there. You gotta learn to learn to just barely move it. You can get out of that shaking thing when you're coming down. But I mean it is sensitive. If we can set it down soft, yeah, it just takes a little getting used to. Good deal. All right, so let's get out of here and watch a couple more videos and see if we can learn anything, and we'll get them out of there.